It looks like a zombie apocalypse movie. There's so much smoke out here, and we're way out in the prairies, and the BC forest fire smoke is insane, man. You can taste it. Hey guys, so I've been flipping vehicles like pancakes. And I think I lost a tooth on that last railroad crossing. So the original High Boy um, that I showed you guys, it needed a lot of work. It had manual brakes and it really didn't like stopping that, uh, you know, with the camper in the back, it was just too much for it. I mean, it did stop, but don't get me wrong, and that's how they used to roll with them, but it wasn't a safe deal, in my opinion, and would have needed a ton of work, uh, new brakes, the whole bit, for it to do what I wanted to do. Uh, but it was fun sampling it anyway. And again, it had, uh, I think the brakes were all, all four were drums, so it was pretty uh, prehistoric as far as braking with two, 3,000 pounds in the back. Then of course I bought the uh, Ford Ranger XLT Camper Special and that thing is awesome. Uh, I sold that as well. It's gone as of the other day. It would have been great too, but again, it would have been needed a, a ton more work for me to uh, get it out this year and I just don't have the time to whoa, uh, fix it all up and get it to where I want it this year. So that's where this guy comes in. Uh, so there it is guys that is an old OBS old body style Ford and it is a 97 F250 heavy-duty extended cab 4x4 and this thing is a monster it came from the prairies actually I picked it up a couple weeks ago and I just drove it home I just jumped in it and drove it home it hasn't been on the road that's why the windshield doesn't have holes in it and yeah it's pretty awesome for you guys uh, on the other side of the pond in the under the hood here is a giant 7.5 liter uh, v8 also known as a 460 there it is all it's 460 cubic inches of beastly goodness gas guzzling unbelievable you have to have two tanks of gas for this thing this thing is a five speed i've done a bunch of stuff to it, a bunch of small stuff to it so guys i got another leaky gas tank and it is midship gas tank the front gas tank 70 liters i believe or 18 gallons something like that and this was like i said it was never on the road it was a farm truck This thing had the box off it. The whole box is a full size eight foot box. And they had a cedar or something on it. I can't remember what the guy said. So this box was in a barn for about 15 years. Again, this is a 97, last of the old body style Fords. Uh, the tires on this I changed out. I got some BFG KO2s. Not that I'm a big fan of BFG KO2s, but I got these cheap, so I threw them on. The other tires were literally shot. Here's the tires, guys. Pretty much, uh, they're toast. I wonder how old these things are. Uh, probably 20 years old and I drove yeah like 500 kilometers or something with those things the bumper was off it again because the box was off it and uh, yeah but it's a beauty and it's tough as nails heavy duty it rides like a stagecoach railroad tracks which I'm telling you I've had stagecoaches before um, being an 88 inch wheelbase uh, Series 2A from the 60s Land Rovers, those things jumped around like crazy. But you know what? It'll the payload and this guy will take 3,500 pounds, so extremely heavy duty. I'm sure it'll hold the camper perfectly. Obviously, I'm in town today, the parking lot of a Home Depot, and it looks like a seagull absolutely exploded. There's feathers for days. Maybe two or three, because uh, I got stuff to pick up. But anyway, there it is, that nasty goodness. Not very much rust. And so yeah, the box is off, and I'm just gonna pop this tank off, and I've got a new one. Right there, 200 bucks. So the other tank didn't fit, it was way too small. They gave me the wrong tank. But there's the hole, and you know, <laughs> you know what I'm tempted to do? 
Uh, you know what I'm tempted to do. And three seconds later, there's my patch. You know what, guys? I don't want to use this thing um, if I don't have to, but I might have to. So the old tank is back in. Long story short, guys, um, basically what happened here is I got everything apart. I had the uh, new tank ordered up and, and had it here. And it's the wrong size tank. It was literally about this size. Maybe uh, it's missing 30%. It was, I believe, I think it was 15 gallon. Anyway, totally wrong tank. So here I am, um, kind of screwed really, because uh, you know that, that tank getting the proper, or supposedly the proper tank in, is gonna take a week. So I can't leave this thing sit. So you know what I did? I put the JB weld on it and it's going back in and I'm not gonna keep it in there forever. So basically what happens here, guys, the skid plate is right there. Um, so it collects, there's all kinds of debris in there. It collects crap, it collects stones, whatever. And it ends up rubbing a hole in the tank. And that's exactly what happened. So that's the area I was talking about. It's got two tanks. It's got two 70 liter tanks and it needs it. I've never seen anything and I've had probably 40 vehicles. I've never seen anything in my life that drinks gas like this thing. Um, from what I can see, it's got two block heaters and it needs a front grill, which I can pick one of those up for about 80 bucks. So again, I've done some small stuff with it. Uh, the bumper was all screwy, I straightened it out and the back bumper wasn't on, I put that in. Uh, the interior is absolutely awesome, except for one uh, hole. This was all seat covers here and there's a hole right there, probably from a manly man cigar, I don't know. The bench seating in the back is great. It actually folds down into a complete hard shelf. So you can load up tools in there, guns, whatever you gotta do. It's got one crack on the dash. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's got an aftermarket stereo in it. Um, and a couple little things I did, I'll go over quickly. All right, hopefully you can hear me. So I stuck in a USB port here. It also shows the, um, the battery condition and you know what voltage it's got going on. And of course a phone holder. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, uh, I put one of these guys on. This guy was broken off and that's a pretty quick and easy fix again i kind of cleaned out the interior ripped out the old seat cover and there it is it's a five speed so it's a four speed with a uh overdrive really and it's got of course the four here high and low uh, everything works on this um the this guy was only going on high so i fixed that so my fan blower it doesn't have a low or medium setting um it just has high you can hear that beastly thing um, but it's a quick and easy fix. I just grabbed this guy here and it is from Amazon. I hate to say it uh, But it's from Dorman and it's just a little blower motor uh, resistor. So that'll fix that on the passenger side the resistor is right there You just kind of unscrew that pop it out clip it on and away you go So that guy's in place and it's a bit of a tight squeeze in there so a little bit of swearing and there's the plug I'm just gonna plug that in and we're good to go hopefully it's working beautifully cheap as dirt a little bit of swearing and it's ready to roll that is great so this is the the new fuel uh, selector switch front and rear I replaced that that other one was toast I uh, what else was in here I took the tint off this was all tinted and cheesy so I got rid of it and it just peeled off easily I was thinking it was gonna be a nightmare at the back as well it had a bed liner in it I got rid of it this is a great uh, cheap overlanding rig and work truck this is kind of cool I don't know if you've seen one of these before this is a hydraulic uh, brake lock so basically you step on the brake and you pull this guy out and it actually locks everything up obviously better than just a uh, a standard emergency brake so that's kind of cool uh, a bunch of other little stuff I'll put in the description of what I did here. Not much rust, a little bit of surface rust. Uh, the front panels, uh, or sorry, the front fenders aren't bad at all. They got a couple little holes in them, but I can replace those for 130 bucks if I want to. I don't know if I want to. Uh, again, this thing rides like a bloody stagecoach, but the payload capacity of this thing is 3,500 pounds. So it's going to be awesome as far as um, hauling that 2,000 pound camper around. So I'm really looking forward to that. And again, I have, ha I have had some stuff in here, heavy loads, and it just smooths out the ride nicely. Again, long wheelbase um, with that extended cap, so it's a little bit longer than the high boy.
kidding. Absolutely deadly on the washboards with nothing in the uh, the bed.